Finisar markets one of the industry's most exciting Rotom technologies for next-generation wavelength selective switching. Rotoms are increasingly being deployed in today's optical networks to help manage the current and, more importantly, future demands on bandwidth and network traffic. Through its combination with Optium, Finisar's WSS Rotom is the only Rotom in the market today based on liquid crystal on silicon, a cutting-edge technology that has taken the Rotom beyond simple switching to a truly reconfigurable programmable device. Rotoms stands for Reconfigurable Optical Add Drop Multiplexer. These are devices that are found in optical communications networks. They are optical switches which allow the network to be reconfigured to meet traffic demands. They both work by switching the light from one optical fibre to another, so it allows the operator to basically readjust his network on the fly. We chose the LCOS technology because we were looking for something which would allow the WSS Rodem to be very flexible and it would be very manufacturable, but also would meet the demands of the customers that we had. One of the critical things for any optical component or subsystem is the ability to manufacture it efficiently and at a reasonable cost. The LCOS offered tremendous advantages in this area because of its background in the consumer electronics business and also because of the programmability that it offered and the flexibility that it allows you to build into the manufacturing. It is designed to provide a lot of additional functionality which can be upgraded by changing the software in the system rather than changing the hardware as other competing technologies have to. This is a major improvement as it allows us to upgrade the functionality of the device uh, both in the manufacturing and also when it's running in the field. From a carrier perspective, that it allows them to manage their networks basically on the fly and to upgrade their networks as they go. And from our customer, the network equipment manufacturers, it allows them to use a common base across all of their products and also to upgrade their products as they go through software. Finisar is the only one that has the LCOS technology and so there are a number of, I guess, differentiating functionalities that we can bring to the marketplace. The key thing to a wavelength selective switch is to separate out all of the optical channels onto a different portion of the switching element. What we do is we disperse the light across the LCOS chip. Each of the different channels is operated on by independent pixels. A particular phase image is placed upon those pixels to steer the light to a port or to attenuate the light or to filter the light. And in this way, we can enhance the transmission properties of each of the different channels going through the WSS switch. I think the really interesting thing about the LCOS is that both the steering, the switching, and the attenuation are all done with a single switching element. And that's just a CMOS-based chip. When we first came to addressing the WSS, we first set out to, to meet or exceed all of the existing WSS functional requirements. Beyond that, we saw that with the programmability that we have in the LCOS, we could meet a lot of extra customer requirements that were evolving in the marketplace. Some examples of this were the ability to change our channel plan and also the ability to have drop and continue. Drop and continue is the ability to share an optical signal between a number of different nodes. And that's particularly important for us in video applications where there's a requirement to broadcast the same video signal between different users. Our mixed channel plan provides the ability for the customer to choose between 50 gigahertz channels and 100 gigahertz channels. And importantly, they can choose this on the fly and reconfigure their networks to support both of these channel formats. We're the only ones at the moment that can offer this feature in a large port count WSS. And we're seeing an increasing demand for our customers for the ability to mix their channel plans in their networks. The software programmability of the WSS from a manufacturing point of view means that we can address a wide range of customer requirements with only a very limited number of hardware designs. We've leveraged that to build one of the most extensive Rodan product lines in the industry in a very short space of time. 
We started WSS production with a handful of employees in a 6,000 square foot facility in 2007. We now have 30,000 square foot of production in a high-tech facility that's capable of scaling to industry demand. I'm proud of the work that we've done here in Australia to bring this technology into what is a very competitive marketplace. We've got a very talented team here that are excited about the possibilities that this technology offers into the future. The development of the LCOS technology has been tremendously exciting. It's been a really enjoyable process because of the things that we can do already with this technology, but also the things that we can do in the future that we haven't even yet started to work on, but we know that we can do out there. Our customer base is growing rapidly as carriers and equipment manufacturers respond to the need for increased flexibility in bandwidth delivery by optimizing the unique capabilities of our LCOS-based WSS Rotom. We believe Rotoms are on the cusp of a very strong growth curve, and we are ready for it. <laughs>